welcome to the Pacific Wild. Yeah, we're gonna be fishing uh, Chinook salmon. We got the big fall Chinook run coming up. Um, we kind of chased the fish all the way from Astoria all the way up, you know, up to the river and above the dam. Um, it's my first year with North. Oh, North hey, you guys! What's up? I didn't even know you guys were here yet. <laughs> hey, check this out, man. We got a special guest. This is Brian May. I'm in his backyard today on the Columbia River. This brother is certified. As in the salt water, and what's all that about when you get certified? Is that some kind of Coast it's Guard? A, yeah, it's a Coast Guard 25 ton master's license, and you have to go to, you know, do a lot of certifications, you get your first aid. You know, when we're dealing anything with ocean and any people, you know, uh, there's a lot of responsibility. Uh, we have random drug testing, we have random. That's big testing. time, I like that. I like that. That's pretty big time. So, what areas do you fish besides this? Area? We fish the coast, Astoria, Bowie 10, Tillamook, Nehalem. We do bottom fishing trips out in the salts. Um, we kind of cover a whole gamut of stuff, steelhead. We're kind of an all year round type uh, service. So, you know, you can, any time of the season you want to come fish, you can come get with us at Northwest Premier Outfitters. Do you know we're best friends? Yeah, we're always best friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love these yeah. young guns, man. These young guns have so much stuff they can have, take advantage of compared to us back in the day. Social media, the internet, they can learn so many things that took us years and months. So the world is changing, and you got these hardworking young guys instead of sitting on video games. You guys got these guys out here believing in the dream. So more power to us. We're getting ready to go fishing. You guys can come along after this commercial. We'll see you later. We gotta go do some man work. <laughs> <laughs> we just did our first troll. Brian set us up with some of these new Loomis's. I haven't whoa. I haven't fished with this particular rod before, and uh, it's new to me, so I'm trying to get used to it. But hey, you know what a fish feels like, right? <laughs> so I'm not sure how much pressure I can really put on this. Oh, don't be afraid, Calvin. Oh, he just told me don't be afraid. He doesn't know. I've broken many a rods in my day by <laughs> saying don't be afraid. Oh, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. So this is our first troll. Ryan's been calling out these fish for us. And man, within seconds, he said it's getting ready to happen and bam. So uh, let's see if I can get this fish in here this morning. Whoa, this is a hot fish. Oh, that's a hot fish. Uh, we're on the Columbia. I'm not sure what part of the Columbia, because like I said, this is all new. This is Brian's home waters here. He's been doing this for a long time. But man, when you have a guy that can tell you when a fish is gonna bite, I don't know if they got magic powers, I don't know what's going on, but man. When you can get beautiful fish like that on your first throw, I'm loving my life. Ooh, you guys, welcome to Pacific Wild. I'm with some good people today. You guys are gonna see a lot of shine here in the future. Renee, help me set this up. Hi. This is Renee Johnson. This is our guide. He's a young gun out here, and these guys know what they're doing. So welcome to the show. We got a lot of this to do today. <laughs> we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Beautiful. Yeah. Pacific Wild. Peace in, peace out to the Upper Left USA. You guys might want to, no, don't move here. Just visit. Don't move here. Man, that was a super hot fish, man. These rods are dynamite. What are we using, man? What, what, I've never seen a Loomis like this. Is this, this is something new they came out yeah, with Yeah, this, this is G. Loomis' new E6X line. They kind of, you know, traditionally G. Loomis has always been with the cork. 
they kind of finally went to this composite handle here. This is new E6X. This is a 1265. What's that 1265 mean? It's uh, the length, so they measure their rods in centimeters. Right. And the last number in the model series is the power. This is a five power rod. Right. It's what great. does that mean? Man, I, I have an American education, bro. Yeah. This help me out. What is, what it's it's going to label the power, how much power, how much backbone this uh, really has. The rods go to six powers. So they usually start around, you know, three power and go up to six. This is a great rod for the pro trolls we're using. We can still see that nice pulse action with that big flasher. Hey, let me slow down. Because some of you guys might know what he's talking about. I'm, I'm lost and I do a lot of fishing. I don't have this technology and this innovative idea. And these young guys know all these fancy words. So when you're telling me this is a five power and I'm pulling back on a fish, Break that down for me, because I'm still kind of lost what you mean by a five power. You're going to see this rod kind of like bend, you know, about three quarter or a quarter of the way up. Right. So the front, the top end of this rod is going to be, you know, for your bite, where that fish is going to sit there and chew on that bait. Mm -hmm. These also make a great herring rod. You know, when you're herring fishing, mm -hmm. you don't really want to pick that rod up right when that fish is biting. You really want to... Also, you're talking about flexibility. Yes. It gives it more flex yes. for that fish to really play with it without yeah, detecting that bite, rod yeah. there. But still, oh, you have that, you know, that that strength in the rod to really be able to turn that fish's head and really control that fish to the net or to, you know, get a really big fish in that, you know, 20 to 30 pound class range. This bad boy came flying to the top of the water so quick. I'm not sure what I got, but man, you can't ask for a better day out here in the upper left USA. Brian, thank you, brother. You put yeah. this on fish consistently. I want to come over by you, big guy. Now you can get that feel of the different rods in the different closets. Man, these guys are coming up with these new rods. I tell you, this thing is so light. I can barely tell it's in my hand. It's just like my finger fighting the fish pretty much. I really lets you enjoy the fight of that fish. Look at that bend. The bend though. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh my goodness. I'm almost getting tired now. I've been fighting too many fish fishing with these guys. <laughs> Don't let them pull you in. Oh my god. Look at this. He is not ready by any means. I see him, I see him, I see him. There you go. This is so much fun, you guys. Here's the hard part. When you get them about right here, and these are some fresh fish. These fish are fresh. And you gotta really pay attention to what you're doing. This is the most critical part about fighting with salmon. No tricky sometimes. These fish are built up. It, it, almost to the day they, they die, they don't, they don't stop moving. They're way stronger than you might think they are. So this fish might seem like it's going to come right back up, and it can take a dive on you so quick, like that. So uh, this is where a good guy comes in, and knowing when to net this fish and when not to net this fish. My job is to get it towards the net. I actually accomplished oh, that. Oh, there we go. That's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do it there out here in the Pacific Northwest. Brian, thank you, brother. Yeah.
Brian's been putting us on fish, you guys, constantly, almost every drift through here. My good friend Renee Johnson, you guys will meet her later on, set this up for us. I really appreciate all these young people out here. They're doing such fantastic jobs out here in the Pacific Northwest, and I get to share my love for them with you guys. Thank you for coming. Is that a fish? Oh! <laughs> hey, where you guys been? You're missing all the fun. We were hooking fish after fish off these trolls. Sean just hooked into another one. Oh, 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 I was oh, 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 look at this! Oh yeah! Fish! Oh, baby! Oh my god! We were having so much fun out here on the Columbia. You guys, whoever's watching this show, oh my god, I tell you what, man, if you want to have some fun out here in this beautiful state, man, you guys gotta look look up the show. We're gonna provide a lot of information of family and friends that I fish with. People that make a difference out here. And uh, it's, it's just phenomenal out here. So welcome back to Pacific Wild. You saw me talking to Sean a little bit. The captain over here, my good friend Brian, saw this rod just go down. I got to it just in time. Oh, this is a nice fish too. This is a nice fish. Okay, we're making up for ourselves. Oh, this, oh, look at this fish. Oh, oh, oh my stars. This is the nervous part right here. This, the only thing I can tell you guys, when you get about right here, just breathe it out. Just take your time. guys invited me to be a part of this and invited the show to come down. <laughs> Welcome to Pacific Wild. We're gonna go bleed this fish. It's very important you bleed these fish, mainly because you want this meat to be as nice as you can. Any game animal to fish, especially this size, you want to bleed them. Knock them out, don't let them stress, because it can build up a whole bunch of things and you don't want in the meat. But we're gonna do that job. We don't want to air that on television. We got, you know, kids watching that might not understand some of this stuff. So we gotta get busy here, but we'll be right back with you. Thank you guys for coming. Woo! There nice you go. work! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo. Okay, so in this fishery, any uh, Chinook salmon under 24 inches is considered a jack salmon. It's a juvenile salmon that returns before sexual maturity. So they're just gonna come into the river without being able to spawn and just die. So they yeah. allow us to keep a pretty good number of them. Limit is five per person per day. 
and you just get this little little teeny tiny fish this one happens to be a hatchery fish and it just uh, went out to the salt and followed its bigger brothers and sisters in a little bit too early and uh, it won't, they won't return back out into the salt. It would just come up here into the river and die without being able to reproduce. So they allow us to keep some extras and they actually make really good table fare. Nice, nice meat on them and just a good little freebie fish. We don't have to fill up any space on our tag and you get four or five of these a day and top of your regular limits and it's just a perfect day. small lunch break everybody this is our first troll through here Brian just said hey you guys we're gonna take a small lunch break Sean went off then all of a sudden I was trying to get this rod out of the water this rod went off oh it's a beauty too look at this oh, this is, oh I just lost it This is a decent sized fish. Yeah, it's a guy with that coming back. It was a good 20. Let me see that lure. Yeah. God, I love those new E6X rods. They're sweet. A nice bend here. We keep those fish on. Nice pair of little bend in it. Yeah. 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 So I really like these 10-6 rods here. We can swing that fish around the other side of the motor here. Oh, I swear I saw like lip or something. Oh, man, I really like that fish. Oh, get that, that fish, fish on. That was a huge one. Nice fish, man. Don't let him pull you in, buddy. I got this. <laughs> Don't let him pull you in. <laughs> what kind of rod you guys using over here, man? That new Loomis E6X. Ooh. I love the bend on these rods. We had twins, Sean. Yeah. We definitely had twins. This is a nice, bright fish. Nice look, Sean. Oh, look at that. Ooh. That fish is way bigger. Oh. That fish was way bigger. That's a heartbreaker. <laughs> Sometime it happens like you guys. Here's what happens. This is what I believe on Pacific Wow. You guys can take it with a grain of salt, but I truly believe that God's test us. The guys want to make sure you're worthy. Life is easy when you're doing this. I mean, we're out here, a lot of people don't get an opportunity to do this. And we're out here having a fantastic time. I went some really good friends, and we get fish on like that would cost the average person about $300. Maybe cost us a couple bucks to catch this fish, right? So when you lose them, it's up to your, you gotta have a proper attitude. You gotta be able to start over. You can't get angry, because that's not gonna help anybody. You just gotta stay positive and start all over again. And at the end, the gods will bless you. And that's what I believe from Pacific Wild. So peace in everybody. Peace out and we'll see you guys back here in a little bit. You snap that hook off. You snap those two bottom hooks right off. Go man, you go. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Me either. Next time I'm gonna let the boat do it for me. I'm not gonna rip it out. That's what I did two times in a row right now. Check your gear. Okay. okay. You might be a staff. Well, it's a lesson that'll be learned here. You wait on the captain. Don't think you know everything about fishing ever. Especially when people that do this for a living and this is their home water, when that captain tells you go ahead and grab that rod, you grab it. Don't pretend that you know what you're doing ever because you saw what just happened. And I've caught thousands and thousands of salmon, but that could have been a 40, 50 pounder or a teener, but they're all beautiful in these waters and I just lost it. That was all my fault. So I want to put this back down. We'll be right back with you guys. And hey, we're not perfect, but we like having fun. <laughs> 
Hey you guys, welcome back. We're, man, we're just staying so busy, you guys. Oh man, I just sat down. I was trying to eat something for the first time today and this thing just took off on me. Oh man, if I stay doing this show, I'm gonna be skinny in about two more months. Oh, oh my goodness. We got a double. Over. I think we're pretty good. Oh yeah, these rods are amazing. You guys, welcome back to Pacific Wild. Man, this life is so much fun. I can't believe I'm this fortunate someday. I love where I live. Man, I got the best friends in the dang planet. And I get to do stuff like this almost daily. And right now you got a rod in your hand. Oh, bent. oh and this is my first time getting ready to use one of these new Loomis rods. Man, they tell you, they've been telling me, Colin, let this rod have it. Well, this oh. rod's living me oh, have it. Come here. Oh. I'm gonna come up here. Give me a wrap here around the other side. I'm trying to get away from it here. My stars, man, look at this rod. Okay. Best thing I can tell you guys, when you have a fish like this, and they beat you, they, man, they really do beat you up. Just lift up, reel down, but keep a control on this. And that's the best, I mean, you don't get so tired so easy when you do it this way. And reel down, but you cannot let slack, any slack, these fish are gone like ghosts. I'm not, I haven't even seen this fish yet, but man, this is giving me some, Homework today. Oh yes, it is giving me a homework. Oh, look at this fish. This fish is not done. This fish is not done by any means. Ooh Got me looking to the sun here, which is kind of difficult. But I'm gonna see how how this plays out. We got Sean on the net, and Sean's really good at what he does. So I got a little bit Sean. Oh yeah! Woo! Yeah, watch those. Uh, he's got the truck. Yeah. Well, that fish wasn't going nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Soda. <laughs> Every pass. These guys have been teaching me some nice new fish. tricks out here today. I'm, I'm impressed. They don't realize that we've been best friends for years, even though I've only been knowing them for a little bit. <laughs> but since I'll be spending the night quite a bit this time of year with these guys, you're gonna see a lot of these guys here in the near future. But hey, look at that beauty. That's just a nice fat hand. That yeah, is a beautiful, beautiful fish. That's a beautiful That's hand. Right here, Sean, you're a boss. You're a big boss. <laughs> This guy's been putting glad us on here, fish guys. all day, nice man. Yeah, glad you We had here. a few challenges, but hey, this is what winning's all about and living up here in the Pacific Northwest. We get to do this. You can't beat that. Money can't buy stuff like 100% this. 100% organic, right? No, not at the prices we're doing. It's pretty much <laughs> friendship and free and a lot of love for each other, but hey, this is what we do. This Thank is what you. the people pay $30 a pound for in the yep. food stores around here, and we get to come out here and have the fun of catching them and bringing them home. Look at that. Nothing like good friends awesome. on the water. Yeah. There you go, guys. Yeah. Awesome. Good fight, Sean. Awesome. I'm, I'm going to help you with this fish here, brother. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, you guys, we'll be right back. Thank you guys for staying with us. We'll see you in a few minutes. So out here on the Columbia River, there's a lot of boat traffic. We got big shipping containers, naval, Navy vessels, all sorts of stuff. Um, if you guys are ever in the channel, don't anchor in the middle of the channel. Um, and if you ever hear five short blasts on the horn, that means they in doubt, doubt your intentions, you need to move out of the way. These vessels are restricted by their draft, so they have the right of way. They only can operate in the channel and they have a small section they can only move in because they run so deep. So you guys need to stay out of the way. Um, it can get kind of dangerous out of here. Just be you know, aware of your surroundings when you're out in the Columbia River here.
nice when all these people work together. It's really nice. Time, young lady, take time. We got a pretty hot fish out here, you guys. Um, Renee just had a, about a 30 pounder on, and unfortunately, she did everything right. But it happens sometimes. We have really good quality hooks, but sometimes these fish just they get mad strong, and uh, we bent two hooks that shouldn't have been bent, and that's just how it is. It's human error, most likely, on the hook design. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. So she's taking her time with this fish. She's been real patient with it. We haven't seen it. But it's a hot fish. When I say a hot fish, it means it has a lot of energy and life to it. So it could be a 12 pounder, it could be a 40 pounder. We have no idea yet. But uh, she's a confident lady. She does a lot of fishing out here in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> well, get your stuff back to you. My apologies. Uh -oh. Come on, beer washer. you guys we get passionate out here and everybody gets passionate sometimes stuff like this happens we got one bolt that was really paying attention to these guys we want to thank them there's Willie over here they did a fantastic job uh, communicating with us uh, working the, everything out with us and we got this fish in it was a very uh, difficult task the gentleman over here in this thunder jet boat was a little bit behind schedule on us so we were a little bit worried we you know as human nature we got a little excited I'm not, I'm all in all, everything worked out, and uh, with all these people out yeah. here, this is a cool thing that we can all work together like this. So thank you, man. And we had a really good day, brother. Thank you for bringing yeah. us Yeah, I'm here. glad to have you guys. That was love awesome. to my yeah. family. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. fish with you again yeah. in a couple weeks. Bro, thank you for coming along, thank teaching you, us, yeah. educating. Renee, thank you, girl. You don't mind if I hug your wife. Not like I normally do every day. Oh, I love this woman. This woman is awesome. She's a man. This woman is awesome. We had such a good day out here on the Columbia, you guys. These are just a good friend of mine. It's a little bit what I do. I know the show's about just pretty much me, but every once in a while, I got to honor some of the people that are special in my life. These guys are Oregonians. I'm a Washingtonian. We get to do some things they can't do. They get to do some things I can't do. And we have a really good time when we're together. You guys, thanks for coming to the show today. You're gonna, you're gonna see a lot of these people in the future. And we, I just can't say enough about the success I have when I'm with these great people. So you guys, thank you for visiting the show once again. We'll be seeing you next week. Take care, Renee. Stay okay, Later. Later. Yes, sir. Peace out. Oh, no, it's cool. Man, you can get beautiful fish like that on your first roll. Thanks, man. Freaks out here today. I'm, I'm impressed.